Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about uh, data types, variables and constants at an overview level. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you about constants in C language in a more descriptive level. So having said that, let me start with the question. What do you mean by constants in C language, right? So constants are those entities whose value will not change throughout your program execution. So such kind of entities are called as constants and constants are those values which gets stored in on, onto the memory during your program execution. So they are called as constants. So let me, let me repeat, constants are those entities whose value will not get changed throughout the execution of your C program. So such entities are called as constants, right? Now, having said that, so how many types of constants are supported by C language? C language supports three types of constants. The first one is integer constant. Second one is floating point constant. And the third type of constant is character constant. There is one more kind of constant called as enumeration constant, which I'm not adding it in this lesson. I would be discussing about enumeration constant in detail as a separate lesson in another video. Okay, so for now, let us only discuss these three types of constants that is integer constant, floating point constant and character constant. Okay, so having said that, let me start with the first one. What do you mean by integer constants? So all whole numbers are considered as integer constants. It means any value that does not have a decimal point or a fractional part. So such kind of values are called as integer constants. Right. So integer constants can be positive, can be negative whole numbers. Okay. And if suppose you don't have any sign prefixed with that particular value, then you can consider that value as a positive integer constant. So apart from decimal numbers, okay, even hexadecimal numbers as well as octal numbers are also considered as integer constants in C language. So let me repeat any value that does not have a decimal point or a fractional uh, part is called as an integer constants or all whole numbers are considered as integer constants, right? Now let me go to the second type of constant. So that is floating point constants. So what do you mean by floating point constants? Any value that has a decimal point or which has a fractional part is called as a floating point number. Okay, so it can be or floating point constant. Okay, so it can be either positive floating point constant or it could be negative floating point constant, right? If suppose you have a value, a floating point value, and there is no sign prefixed along with it, then it means that it is a or it can be considered as a positive floating point constant, right? So floating point constants are those values which can have an integral part that is an integer part a fractional part as well as an exponent part. So basically all real numbers are considered as floating point constants in C language, right? That is the second type of uh, constant. Now coming to the third type of constants are, they are called as character constants, right? Now, what do you mean by character constants? Any character from your representable character set, if it is enclosed within a pair of single quote like this, then it becomes your character constants, okay? So those characters could include your uppercase letter or your lowercase letter or even a digit or even a special symbol like this, right? So any character that is enclosed within a pair of single codes is called as a character constant in C language. So these are the three types of constants in C language, okay? So um, in the upcoming lesson, I would be showing you how to uh, use constants along with variables and data types to make a meaningful statement, okay? And uh, I'll also be teaching you about the different data types available in C language, okay? So that's all for this lesson. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Okay, if you really like this uh, lesson, so please don't forget to like the video. Also, please do click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you will always keep getting my updated uh, uh, news about the upcoming video series. Okay, so having said that, meet you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Love you all so much.